Hey guys, just thought I would share this with you and maybe get your opinions and um, make you aware of this anyway. Someone told me that Brian Moonen's selling t-shirts now. I saw that he had t-shirts on his website. I think that he might send some out for free. Um, <clears throat> not sure. Um, his own ministry t-shirts, Turn From Your Idols. Um, here's a video about it. Well, they told me about this uh, store that he's running now called kjvprepper.com where he's like selling t-shirts they're like 25 bucks jesus uh inspirational christian poster for 36 bucks um just whatever stuff i don't know t-shirts and whatnot but anyways uh, i didn't see any turn from your idol stuff on here uh, so I wasn't really sure if he really was connected. I saw some comments. People mentioned Brian Moonen. And uh, someone said they saw this on Facebook. Here's people saying, God bless you, Brian. Um, and so I looked a little more and I found his LinkedIn. And he is the business owner of this website, KJV Prepper. So anyways, I'm not going to say too much of my opinion about it or... Uh, what I think the Bible says about it, but it's not something I think I would personally do. And I think that now he really doesn't have any say for, you know, Christians or quote unquote Christians doing things for money. Um, you know, I think that making t-shirts and hats and stuff is great. I've done it some myself and I want to do it more and I'd love to give that stuff out for free as much as I can. I know it costs money to do that stuff, but, you know, and I would encourage people to make their own t-shirts and hats. You know, you can buy stuff and do it really easily yourself, or go places and have it done, and you can pick out the verses and the colors and everything you want yourself. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would encourage you to do it yourself, really. But I've made some for my own personal use in the future. You know, I was thinking even for Christmas, I might make a few hats or something and hand them out to friends. But... You know, to start a business and sell stuff like this and make a ministry into a business is like a totally different thing, I think. And like I said, I don't see how he can really have any ground now to say stuff about others. You know, he's made videos on, you know, the, the false prosperity teachers and stuff and how they're all in it for the filthy lucre and stuff. And, you know, I know that he wants to spread his ministry and, you know, he wants to get people saved. And so this might be a way of doing that. And people want to donate to him, so they're kind of getting something out of it. He's getting something out of it. And I know, you know, there's nothing that's unbiblical about donations or anything. But at the same time, I just kind of see this as just wanting more money. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm sure that he already gets donations. Um, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I can guess that he probably does. Um, I mean, I've gotten donations. I've been really, really blessed and really thankful. Um, but anyways, just thought I'd put this out there and maybe talk about it in the future. But yeah, this, this is Brian Moonen's new business, kjvprepper.com. And I've had Brian Moonen on my false teachers list for a while, and mostly because of his post-trib position, which would also pretty much mean that he's in a replacement theology. He doesn't believe that the the Jews are God's chosen people and that the church replaced them. Um, he might say that he believes in something else, like expansion theology or something, but it's it's got to be unbiblical. And he hasn't really came out and said anything about that yet. But that's pretty much what you have to hold to if you're going to be post-trib. Um, and there could be, you know, other little things. Um, but now this is kind of a little bit of a worry, too. It's it's not something that I would do. Um, anyways, that's it. And just like to hear what you think. God bless.